you are Shakespeare. You can even create new words that will expand the English dictionary. Du bist wie Johann Wolfgang von Goethe. Du kannst sogar neue Wörter erfinden, die den deutschen Duden erweitern. Jesteś Bolesławem Leśmianem. Tworzysz nowe słowa, które poszerzają zasób języka polskiego. Hello guys and welcome to my new video. The size matter? It seems that some people think it does. Recently I found on my Facebook that some of my friends were doing a test how many words in a language. In Polish, exactly, do you know? The test has many language versions. I've personally taken three of them. Polish, German and English. This application, through the series of questions, can tell you how many words in a language you know. And what I found out is that I am very, very good in all of these three languages. I've scored nearly maximum points. <laughs> Isn't that great? I know nearly all the words in Polish, German and English. But do I really know all the words? <laughs> Unfortunately, that's impossible. There are so many words, even in my native language, in my mother tongue, that I don't know. So how would it be possible to know all the words in other languages like English, German? Maybe it would be good to find out how many words are there in a language, because the application says about 30,000 words, and that's wow, that's so much. But in fact, each of these languages has much, much more words than the application says. 30,000. Hm, that's just a little part of it. So, how many words are there in English, German, Polish or any other language? <laughs> Here is the big question. Because, in fact, the short answer is nobody knows. The big question is, what is a word? What do we count as one word? I found a very interesting article in The Economist on this matter. Uh, the, you will find the link below this video and I will quote just a little part of it to show you how difficult it is to find a precise definition of a word word. The simplest problem is inflection. Do we count run, runs and ran as separate? The, ne the next problem is multiple meanings. Run the verb, run the noun, one or two. What about run as in the long run of a play on Broadway? Different enough from a jog around the park for its own entry? Different enough from a run in a cricket? So inflections, for example, in my mother tongue, in Polish, there are lots of them. Do they make new words? Hmm. This is a very, very serious problem when it comes to counting words. Another problem are scientific terms. There are about one million chemical compounds. So they have different names. Are they different words? Should we count them? Should we count them separately in English, separately in other languages? And if they are derived from Latin, should we maybe all only count them in Latin and not in other languages? We borrow lots of words in different languages. For example, a CD. Is it a single word? It's an abbreviation. So, how do we count this in English? And when it's borrowed and used, for example, in Polish, is it a word, a Polish word? Can we count this? Because in Polish we use it quite commonly. Another question are compound words. We can find them in German. <laughs> they use those little words, they put them together and make those very, very, very long ones. And in fact, you can easily derive the meaning just by analyzing these, uh, the meanings of these short words. So this one long word, is it a new word, a separate word to be counted or not? There are lots of questions and, in fact, there is a big problem to define the word word. Anyway, 
people try to count words in different languages, they make dictionaries, sometimes very big, like Oxford English Dictionary, and they try to put there as many words as possible. For example, the second edition of the Oxford English Dictionary contained about 174,000 words of current English and nearly 50,000 words that were archaic or obsolete. Should we say that the English language has something about 230,000 words? There is an institution uh, called Global, Global Language Monitor and they claim that English language has already more than one million words. So, who is right? The Oxford Dictionary or the Global Language Monitor? The same problem is in Polish. When I tried to find out how many words are there in Polish, I found very different numbers, from 140,000 to 250,000. So, the gap is quite big. Maybe if we use some other methods, we could expand this number to half a million or maybe even one million of words. That would be nice. German. There are also different numbers, about 250,000 to 350,000, sometimes even more, depending how do you count these compound big words. There is an, also a Dutch dictionary, something like the Oxford English Dictionary, and you can find there about 460,000 words. Its name is Wordenbok der Nederlandische Taal, or something like this. It means a dictionary of the Dutch language. So, this is extremely difficult to say how many words each language has. The numbers differ from just 100,000 to a few hundred thousand or even a million. As you see, this is very, very difficult to say how many words are there in a language. I've tried to find out word records and I found that English with one million words, over one million words, is the on the first place. And there is a language, Taki Taki, with about 340 words, which is the smallest language as far as the number of words is concerned. So, what's the conclusion of this video? <laughs> the conclusion is, in fact, it doesn't really matter how big is the size of your vocabulary. People on average use up to 15,000 words and they understand about 30,000 words. So this is in fact not very much when compared to 1 million words. This really doesn't matter. You can know 20,000 words or 30 or 40, more or less. The thing is how you use them. How do you understand them? And can you really describe the things around you? So don't worry if you took the test and the result wasn't very good. The point is, nobody will know one million words. I don't know all of the words in Polish, neither does any Brit know all the words in English. So don't worry, learn the basic vocabulary, learn of course as much words as possible, but remember that something around 15,000 is enough. So if you didn't score more in this Facebook test, just don't worry. And another thing is that all the time new words are created and some of the words are becoming a little bit archaic and are, and are no longer used. An interesting thing is that recently uh, me and my friends coined a new word in English. So, we thought it was a new word. It was fightingness. It was something connect, you know, some kind of your fighting ability, and because we are playing a board game. And I googled it, and I found that it has been used by Tyson Fury. Here's the video that proves it. You've never fought anybody like me. You've never fought a big inside fighter. And I'm one big inside fighter. Six foot nine, 205 centimeters of inside fightingness. Anyway, we haven't coined a new word, or maybe we did, I don't know. Nobody knows if anybody else will use this word again, but it really doesn't matter. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any interesting comments on the number of words you've learned, or maybe you want to share your result from this uh, Facebook test, leave it in the comments below. If you like the video, 
please subscribe my channel and see you next week. Bye bye!